Hello everyone and welcome back to the barn. Today we have a lot on the schedule for a Monday morning. So we got to ride two horses and I still have to film a how-to video. So lots to do today. I'm so, so excited. I think today I'm going to work on some trail stuff with Neon. I have the gate out because I cleaned around where it usually sits and I thought, hey, what a perfect time to work on the gates. And I, I have some ideas for some really cool angles and I hope, I hope it works out. So you'll see some of that and you'll also see me working on no hands. So a lot of people depend on that steering with the hand to get around a trail course. And I am not a huge fan. I like no hands. I like a clean look. So with him, I'm going to try to see if I can get him going off of just my legs, crossing my fingers for that as well. And then of course, more lunging of the two-year-old. Baby steps, I'll just include a little bit of that. But again, I feel like lunging is boring for you guys. If it's not, tell me, and I'll include more of it in these videos. But for me, it's, it's soul-sucking. I've done it so long. I, I usually put the tunes in, and I just kind of phase out till it's done. But if you guys want to see it, tell me. That's the only way I know how to make these videos for you. So that's on the agenda today, and I hope it goes well. We'll see.
really sweaty today. Look at this. He is dripping in sweat. So that means bath time. Woo! simple and it's got a little guard so it doesn't go through her mouth. However, normally I would just lunge her with it on, let her get reacquainted with it. However, I have reins attached because if you haven't noticed, she likes to go around with her head on the ground and it's a little too low. Peanut roller come to mind? She just loves around like that, but I don't like it. So we're going to put a little bit of a guard on it so she can't get her head too, too low. Sound good? tractor work today just general maintenance things so I'm so sorry I will try and talk as loud as I can because I do not have a microphone but it's stuff that needs to be done anyway so both of the horses were really good neon started off what are you what are you asking for I don't I really understand but by the end he got it which is awesome so that's as, as much as I can hope for and ask for Isadora I really again I'm not gonna include much in there because it's lunging and I feel like that's really boring for you guys to watch so if it isn't tell me and I'll include more let me know if you want to see any more of that or if there's stuff that you guys want to see more of tell me because input is your best friend I don't know what to change unless you let me know so that's kind of the plan I am working on a collaboration with Hosen Hoffen Blade Works which he makes custom knives and we're thinking about something with horses and swords and medieval stuff so more coming on that later. So excited for that one. And another one, I want to um, I want to address that winter is coming right around the corner. My horses are starting to shed and I feel like I need to address some things like getting your barn ready for winter. So if you guys want to hear about that, I was thinking about doing more of a uh, podcast sort of situation with that because I feel like I don't need to be on camera for just talking about housekeeping things, literal housekeeping things, whether or not to blanket your horse in the winter time, what you should do to get prepared, snowstorms, because believe it or not, people, I started blanketing my horse's winter blankets in the beginning of August. Yeah, it's hot, but at night it gets so cold here in Colorado, so it's. I feel like it's time to address it. But your feedback is so appreciated. I cannot thank you enough for all the comments and likes that you've left me. And if you could keep that up, that would be wonderful. And we will see you again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.